Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and recently we launched the Creative Cloud Connection Preview. And all you need to do is go to creative.adobe.com, sign in. You can sign in for free or sign up for free and get trial versions of everything. But what you'll have access to is this Creative Cloud Connection Preview, which is what I want to show you. So I'm going to get into that in a second, but let me show you what you can do today because with the Creative Cloud, I can actually store and access my files in the cloud, especially ton more things as well uh, going beyond just accessing files because if I go to the files section look you can actually drag and drop files here the thing that's new is the creative cloud connection allowing you to sync a folder to the creative cloud automatically and manipulate and uh, <coughs> control a lot of those files so uh, it says that hey I don't have any files we can always do this today just drag and drop a file into your Creative Cloud files uh, area. So you can see there's my file. I can maybe take a look at it right here and you can see that JPEG is pretty awesome. All right, so I'll go back to apps and from here as I scroll down, I can download the Creative Cloud Connection Preview. That's going to launch the Adobe Application Manager and then install the Creative Cloud Connection. You can see it's uh, downloading it now. It will download, install it, and then all I need to do is launch it right from here. And this is great because with as a Creative Cloud member, I can install any of these apps that I want to install. In this case, I'm just going to cover the Creative Cloud connection. Okay, I'm also going to get into the uh, touch apps as well because I can actually sync files from the Creative Cloud to my Adobe Touch apps. All right, so looks like it's installing now, and it's that easy. Let's launch it. Now, it's a really interesting app because it's, um, it's not like Photoshop, but what happened? On my Mac, and it also works on Windows 7, Windows 8, it actually gives me this, um, this shortcut over here, Creative Cloud Files, and actually already has that file in there. Well, where is this? Well, uh, a good place to look is actually in your username folder you'll notice your creative cloud files folder that's what it created is that folder on your desktop okay and not only did that is it put this the app running in your menu bar you can open the creative cloud files folder which is already open and you can also go to the website so this is a good way to show that hey you know what we have all this content synced up whether it's uh, this this uh, this item out in the Creative Cloud, but I also have it on my desktop right here as well. They're the same files. So this is great. I don't have to worry about dragging files into my browser. In fact, if I uh, have a bunch of projects on my desktop like I do, I can take a lot of these assets and you know what? I can just copy. Actually, I don't even need to copy. I'm just going to drag them over because I don't want to act like an island with just having these files only accessed on this computer. What happens if uh, I drop this uh, MacBook Pro and it breaks? Hey, you know what? My files are okay. And you can see it synced those files there. Okay, so that's all I need to do. I can take all of these assets, take all these projects, all these files, and drag them right in there. Okay, in fact, you can start to see all of those assets sync up with those two arrows that's what it means it means they're syncing I can check the progress see look it's actually uh, making action happen uh, you know in my uh, web interface which is great right up here even it shows me that uh, I'm syncing files 28 of 59 three minutes less left shows me the latest files and shows me what percentage of the 20 gigs that I'm using now so this is great these files are now uh, going to be available anywhere okay and these files are, are great because they are rendering out each one of these so look this is a uh, this is a swatch I can actually see those color swatches of course I can see all the JPEGs oh look that's a PDF I can actually get that rendering of that PDF uh, scrolling down here's an illustrator file so you can start to see what happens uh, with these uh, graphic file formats these creative files how I can actually see the content as well so all those are, are copying over um, what else I have are even some uh, PSD files in fact this creative studio PSD 
PSD is loading up right now, okay? So this Creative Studio PSD, as I select it, not only do I get, a, get that rendering of that file, but look, I get the rendering, check this out. I can go to this uh, last button right here, which is my layers button, and I can start to navigate through the different layers. So I can turn off the body content. Okay, so this is great for me as a web designer. I can have one PSD that might have different sections of my content. I can really uh, dig into the contents of these files since we as Adobe understand the formats and everything. Not only that, I can come over here and add comments and say here's the new new design you like, you know, whatever we want to add. Add that comment it adds it right there. I can even share it by clicking this share button, turning that on, uh, you know, sending it out to, uh, well, myself in this case, but that person that I send it to will actually get the link to this file. And they don't need to be Creative Cloud member, but they'll actually link out to that specific file. They can add, you know, whatever comment they want, they can inspect it, and all that good stuff. So that's what you can do with the Creative Cloud, and I think it's great that I can render out PSD files. If I start to take a look even at some of these files in here, um, it's probably still syncing, but even if it's an InDesign file, say that I have right in here, let's check, I have quite a few uh, files going on here in here, but um, I also have uh, you know this magazine folder and it's still syncing that one uh, but I can actually render out the contents of an InDesign file and page through each one of those pages in my InDesign file which is pretty impressive now keep in mind all I need to do if I wanted to update any of these files any of these like this Creative Studio that I was working on I can come in here I can open it up in Photoshop here it is and I can start to work with this file. And all I need to do is start to change some of the content. Say, for instance, uh, if I come in here and I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm not crazy uh, about that, uh, that orange color. I can change that. But the point is, when I change it to something else, got my color picker right here. If I change that to a red, going into, say, a darker color like that. Again, um, just changing it. I can change the color, and the thing is, is check this out, all I, have to need, all I need to do is hit save. I've saved that file. It's saved to this folder. It says, hey, you know what? I'm being synced right now. In fact, just so you can see that a little better, I'm being synced right now. It has to sync other things, but as soon as that's done, as soon as it's synced, that change will actually show up in the Creative Cloud right over here uh, as I start to take a look at uh, that particular graphic. There it is. So let's just wait for that to update. And there it is. It actually pushed it to the top, but you can see that it's actually updated that file. So it's exactly the same. Again, sort of based off of feedback maybe that I got from the client saying, you know, change the background color. All I need to do is, uh, again, just change that in Photoshop, as you can see, like I did when I was in Photoshop, and then just make sure it's in that folder. Once it's in that folder, since it is in that Creative Cloud Files folder, it actually syncs it automatically and it automatically updates it. You can see all of those files already set up in here. Let me show you one more thing. Okay, so again, these are all being synced to the Creative Cloud. I'm really only using not even 500 megs out of my 20 gigs as a Creative Cloud member. But check this out. In fact, let me just go ahead and minimize that because what I have running is on my iPad, I have multiple touch apps. So let me just launch that really fast. Uh, on my iPad, I have... Um, Photoshop Touch, I have Proto, I have quite a few other apps all ready to go. Alright, so 
I'm launching Reflection, which just shows what's on my, my iPad. You can see these various apps, and all of these have Creative Cloud connection uh, connectivity, I guess, or it will sync and act, can access all those files that are actually on my desktop. So, um, you know, since I'm a web designer, I'm going to jump out to Proto. Proto shows me right here that it's syncing all the files to the Creative Cloud. So anytime I create something in Proto, I can sync it directly to the Creative Cloud for further development. So that's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and touch that plus button, button down at the bottom, and I can create a new uh, Proto project. I'll just draw an X with my fingers. What I'm doing actually gives me that empty uh, div, basically a placeholder uh, for my content. I can start to create different items, whether it's a video, uh, text, even one last thing I can do is I can do sort of a couple fingers down, um, or even just add uh, a menu from the side, but I can, you know, basically create a menu like I just did and position that up at the top. But you can see what I can do uh, with this project, Project 28 as it's being, as it's known, and it's actually syncing to the Creative Cloud. Okay, I can also access images and different things as well from the Creative Cloud, but it actually synced Project 28 to the Creative Cloud. So if we take a look up here, recent files, oh look, Project 28 uh, Pro, there it is, my Project 28 file. So I can just double click on it, it will launch Dreamweaver, here is my file right here again uh, all using Proto I now have this sort of a really rough wireframe that I might have uh, created while sitting in a coffee shop with the client and now I can start to really uh, either use this code or write my own uh, from scratch but I can start to develop that idea same thing goes for additional apps whether it's even using Photoshop touch because as I jump in here and I'll click the uh, create a new project based on an image from the creative cloud you you can see I can access all of those Creative Cloud images. Okay, so they're available on my tablet, on my desktop, in the browser, uh, and is really beneficial now that we have Creative Cloud Connection Preview. So I encourage you to jump out here, install the Creative Cloud Connection Preview. Uh, get the touch app plugins so you can open up some of these touch app um, files in say Photoshop or Illustrator you will need that but definitely check out Creative Cloud Connection today it's great we have this preview available